During his patrol in San Dimas Canyon, State Wildlife Officer Jonathan Garcia came upon a dead mountain lion caught in a steel trap. There was evidence its claws and its teeth were damaged. The mountain lion was trying to get out of the trap and injured itself, Garcia explained. Nearby, he spotted a dead bear that he learned had also perished after lingering for several days in a trap. The bear died from starvation, suffering a slow, painful death from lack of water and food, Garcia said. It was not hunted. There was no gunshot wound. It is upsetting because they are part of our natural resources. These victims, the wildlife, don't have a voice. They can't dial 911, Garcia said. People who set traps, poachers, anglers dragging the rivers with illegal gillnets, these are violators Garcia has hunted down for the past three years as a wildlife officer for the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. Last week, Garcia, 32, was named Wildlife Officer of the Year by the department for what was described by David Bess, the CDFW's Deputy Director and Chief of the Law Enforcement Division, as building an impressive caseload involving illegal take of deer, take of lobster out of season, feeding bears, unlawful importation of restricted species, license fraud, take of mountain lions, take of bears out of season and use of throw nets and gillnets. On March 29, Garcia's investigation of the trapping and death of a mountain lion and a bear in San Dimas resulted in a man's arrest on suspicion of felony animal cruelty charges, said Fish and Wildlife Captain Corey Collins. The case is pending. The same investigation revealed a live grey fox in a different homemade trap that was subsequently released, and an additional 11 dead raptors, or birds of prey, such as hawks, on the property, the department reported. Garcia said the investigation revealed the suspect told authorities the mountain lions were killing his goats. Mountain lions are protected as a result of Proposition 117, passed in 1990, prohibiting sport hunting of the big cats. However, under the proposition, about 97 mountain lions a year on average are taken under kill permits, usually taken out by ranchers who must show they are threatening livestock. But new protections from the State Fish and Game Commission in April 2020 were added as mountain lions became candidates for a threatened or endangered species under California law, including temporary protections against killing them. The commissioners were acting on a petition from environmental groups who said mountain lion numbers are drastically dropping. In populated areas of the state, mountain lions are hemmed in by freeways and development, and get hit by cars or shot by landowners. Scientists estimate about 225 to 510 remain in six areas from San Francisco to San Diego, including those roaming the Santa Monica, San Gabriel and Santa Ana mountains and foothill communities. Trapping of bears and mountain lions is illegal.